they hear that fire alarm The rescue team stays cool and calm If you're stuck, give them a shout They'll be there to help you out Fire and Sam is on the way With the rescue team Sam is gonna save the day With the rescue team Cause they're brave to the core They are the heroes next door It's nearly showtime. Our first lunchtime theatre performance of The Search for the Ponty Pandy Diamond. Yay! Yay! I hope you're all ready. Uh, actually, Sarah, I'd like to talk about my part. Oh, not again, Norman. Oh, <laughs> I have to say, I'm very excited about this. I've always been fascinated by the legendary Ponty Pandy Diamond. It, well, yes, and I'm rather excited about a nice hot lunch. <laughs> yes. Okay, team, curtain up in two. But we don't have a curtain, Sarah. It's an open air theatre. Oh, you know exactly what I mean, Norman. Now, places, everyone. doing here? You're not in the show. I know, but I'm just so excited. I can't wait to see what happens. Will the heroes find the cave? Will they solve the riddle? Will they bring back the diamond? Dad, you need to make the food for our audience. And the play is about to start. Oh, yes. Sorry, James. I know. But I'll be watching. Ooh, it's about to start. The Hawfish Theatre proudly presents our new play, The Search for the Ponty Pandy Diamond. In days of old, a long time ago, two brave heroes went in search of the legendary Ponty Pandy Diamond. Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. The heroes walked for many days, and soon their search brought them to the Caves of Darkness. Look, here are some caves. Oh, they are very dark. They must be the Caves of Darkness. Oh, oh it started. I don't want to miss anything. One plastic horse rescued. And now, for some lunch. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Tom Thomas always makes a really nice picnic when we come up here. <laughs> Not so fast, Elvis. We need to get changed first. Oh, OK, Penny. Right, picnic's ready. Just wait till you taste these sandwiches. Uh, Tom, yeah, what's Sam? I'm thinking Willie likes Tom's picnics as much as Elvis does. You can't come out now, Charlie. We need two spinach salmons for table two. Oh, no. But Bronwyn, I keep missing the good bits. And then the brave heroes reached the deepest part of the cave. The deepest part of the cave. Quick, Norman! We need to turn the set around! And as they explored the darkness... The brave... I mean, the brave heroes came face to face with the hideous beast that protects the Ponty Pandy Diamond. Why do I have to play the hideous beast? I wanted to be one of the heroes! Oh, Hannah and Mandy are playing the heroes in this play and you know it, Norman. Just say your riddle of the diamond. Huh. Oh dear, these salmons are taking ages to cook and I really want to know what's happening. Oh, I'll only be a sec. I hope the heroes haven't cracked the riddle of the diamond yet. As dark as the night and as deep as the sea, those 
so search will come to me. Arr, 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 arr. That's the riddle. Ooh, I bet the diamond is in a deep dark hole in the deep dark cave. Right. Thanks to those pesky sheep, we are going to have to make the picnic again. So, let's see what we got here. Well, you've got two lettuce leaves and half a tomato. And I think I saw a slice of bread a minute ago. Oh, did you want that slice of bread? My tummy got a bit rumbly. OK, OK. Oh, I'd better go to the cup price store and get some more supplies. Don't worry, Elvis. I'm not sure we could have made 12 sandwiches out of that slice anyway. This is so tense. Rawr! You shall not pass! Rawr! Unless, of course, you solve the riddle. Well, the diamond is in the deep, dark hole, isn't it? Ah, yes, it is. Oh, I do like the smoky special effect. They do say there is a mystical smoky mist that surrounds the diamond. But we don't have a smoky special. Uh-oh. Dad! The cafe's on fire! Oh! Better call the rescue team. Right. I'll make a new picnic, and this time I'll keep it away from Woolly and Lamekins. Oh, I can't wait. I'm getting very hungry. A fire has started in the Holdfish Cafe during their first ever lunchtime theatre. A fire has started in the Holdfish Cafe during their first ever lunchtime theatre. Right, team. We'll need to suit up and head out. Roger that, Penny. Penny. I'll call Ellie on the way. And I'll stay here and make the picnic. Everyone, everyone, keep a safe distance. I'll shut down the power. Elvis, there's a lot of cooking oil in here. We're going to need sticky foam. Roger that, Penny. Switching both hoses to sticky foam now. I'm so sorry. I should have known better than to leave a pan while it's cooking. Yes, Charlie, you really should. You need to keep an eye on pans while they're cooking at all times, Charlie. I know, but I wanted to see if the heroes actually found the diamond. I'd like to know that too. Maybe we could still see the end of the play. I'd like to finish the play, but, but it's not really a lunchtime theatre if we don't have any lunch. And my kitchen won't be up and running for a few days now. <gasps> Maybe we could have a picnic. I could get Tom to bring his down to the quay. Oh, my tummy is very rumbly. And I'd like to find out if they get the diamond. At last, we solved the riddle and found the legendary Ponty Pandy diamond. Bravo! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of our story. Uh, bravo!